There is something special about these old plantation homes. They have a history that goes back more than a century. Henry Watson grew up near these aging houses at False River. He studies their shapes, the weathered wooden fence, the animals in the yard, and the way the massive oak trees cast their shadows. When I'm taking pictures, I make sure I capture everything in the picture because I'm looking at it when I'm taking it as a 3D image. Henry is an artist who creates images in three dimension. His chisel bites into the wood at different depths for the foreground, middle, and background. I'm making it the tree starting to shape out and then the cabin to come in next and then the fence uh, all to come in. After two weeks of chipping into the grains of wood and adding color, the story of these unique Louisiana scenes, the homes, the people, the trees, and wildlife are forever etched into old pieces of cypress. This is the only kind of wood that Henry uses in his carvings. It has to be cypress, and the board has to be at least 100 years old. The old boards are larger. They come from a time of giant virgin trees. To Henry, they have the wisdom of old age. If these boards could talk, think about the story they could tell. These old cypress boards, over 150 years old, on the building. But the trees that it came from could have been 300 years old. You know, so you start adding up all of these years, the history of the cypress tells a story. The wood carving began when Henry was in high school art class. But it was on drives down the back roads of Louisiana with his blind grandmother that Henry says he learned how to see. I was right through and I explained to her every flower that I've seen, the pathway to the house, the trees, the birds, you know, keeping in mind that she can't see all of that. So in my creation, I was trying to create things that she didn't see, but yet she could feel with her hands. The chiseled wood is the perfect medium for these rustic Louisiana scenes. The wood tells the story through the eyes and hands of an artist. With the heart of Louisiana, Dave McNamara, Fox 8 News.